Number 16. From the information provided, use cell notation to describe the following systems. And then we have letter B. So in this case, it says the cathode consists of a gold electrode in a 0.55 molarity AUNO33 solution. And the anode is a magnesium electrode in 0.75 molarity MgNO32 solution. Okie dokie. So they're talking to us in terms of cathode and anode. Always cathode and anode always goes back to oxidation and reduction reactions. So we have changes in oxidation states, the charges. That's what a redox or oxidation reduction reaction is. All we have to do here is just describe what they told us in a cell notation. Now, cell notation is basically a type of diagram, right, or a drawing. It just depicts what is actually going on in an equation, not in a balanced equation, but it just talks about it in a different way. Now, the general cell notation can be seen as this. So you're going to be, we're going to be writing this reaction in terms of brackets, basically. Now, the two sides, the two half reactions, I've written one in blue and one in red, is divided by a double bracket. Just know that the first one is always talking about the anode, especially if we're in galvanic cells. The second part talks about the cathode. So since the anode comes first, let's go straight to that. Now, before we get started, just know that anode in a galvanic cell always talks about oxidation. You can memorize this by knowing anox, anox, right? And oxidation is always a loss of electrons. So you're going to lose electrons. And if that's the case, if you're losing negative values, you're going to become more positive. Now, they did state that here was the anode, that we have a magnesium electrode. Now, if it's an electrode, it's acting in a state that is not the solution. And at standard state conditions, magnesium is a metal. So in this case, it has to be a solid. This goes by just knowing who is a solid or a liquid or a gas at standard state. But all metals, except for mercury, they're always going to be a solid at standard state. So you have your solid, and then it's going into this magnesium nitrate solution. So in essence, we have, um, let's see, where am I going to put this? Actually, let's put this over here. And now we're going to talk about the magnesium. So we have magnesium, Mg, solid, yields, Mg, and O32. And it told us that that was a solution. Solutions are in aqueous material. So they're in water. So this is aqueous. But now when I draw my schematic, I only care about the ions that change state right, or an element or a polyatomic ion that changes its oxidation state, the charge. Now, when I have this aqueous solution, since it's aqueous, it can be broken down into its two ions, magnesium and the nitrate, NO3. Use your subscripts to find out what those charges were. You had one magnesium and two nitrates, so the one crisscrosses up telling us that the magnesium actually tells us that the nitrate was a negative one and the two crisscrosses up telling us that magnesium was the plus two and these are both aqueous. And now I see here that I have a difference in state. I started off with magnesium being solid and now I'm working to magnesium being a two plus. I don't, I don't actually care about the nitrate because nitrate is always going to be a negative one charge. It's never going to be oxidized or reduced. So in this case, we only care about Mg, solid, yields, Mg, 2 plus, aqueous. And now they did say that I'm in 0 0.75 molarity of the MgNO32. So if I just use my my mole ratios, if I did have 0 0.75 molarity for here, and it was a one to one for magnesium, 
I'm going to have 0.75 molarity, which I'm just going to translate that down to here. I don't have a molarity for the solid because that's not in the solution. That's a electrode. And now we have one half of our schematic or our cell notation. Keep in mind that when you're undergoing oxidation, you're starting off generally with a zero charge and you're going to something that's more positive. So whenever you're drawing oxidations or at the anode, it would make sense that you're starting with your metal because the zero charge is going to a more positive plus two. So now let's just draw that first half. So we have Mg, and that's the solid. Then I'm going to break it out. And then I have Mg2+. Plus. And now since they said aqueous, perfect. And since they gave us a little bit more information, I just have to write that in, 0 0.75 molarity. Now I'm going to double bracket. And now let's figure out what's going on with the reduction side, or the cathode. You can remember that the cathode goes with reduction by just saying red cat. So you have anox and a red cat. Reduction is always a gain of electrons. And if you're gaining negatives, you're becoming more negative. So it's the flip of oxidation. So now when they said that the cathode consists of that gold electrode, gold, at standard state, that's AU on the periodic table, and that's a metal. Standard state is going to be solid. And then they told us that the solution is the AUNO3-3 solution. But remember, reduction is going from a positive to a more negative. You're dropping down in number. So these, you're going to start off with your solution and go to your electrode. It's the opposite of what oxidation is. So let me just have a little bit more room. And now let's do the reduction. So we have AU, NO33 solution, that's aqueous. And this will go into the electrode, which is just the AU solid. This is aqueous, so let's just break it down into its two ions. So I have AU and NO3, use those subscripts to find out what the charges were, but it's a one and a three. The one crisscrosses up telling me that the nitrate was a one, negative one, and the three crisscrosses up telling me that the gold was a plus three. They told us that we had a 0 0.55 molarity solution. And remember the nitrate is never going to change oxidation state, so that we don't care about. And the gold changed because I have a plus three, and then I went to nothing. And since it's a one for AU and a one, the number is gonna be the same. This is 0.55 molarity. So I have the overall um, reaction of AU plus three aqueous yields AU solid. And this is the 0 0.55 molarity. And do you see here now that we went from a plus three charge down to, there was no charge here, so that means zero, down to a zero. We're losing positives, we're becoming more negative. That's reduction. And this was the start going into the product. So we started off with now AU plus three, aqueous, and they gave us a molarity, so I just have to include it, 0 0.55 molarity, break, and then we have AU solid. Last final step is to just see if you need an inert electrode, like platinum, but since they already said that we did have an electrode at a cathode, we did have an electrode at magnesium. We don't have to add anything else. And this would be our final cell notation. And that is it. Whoop, whoop. What do you think? Thanks so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. Just gets the word out there that this channel exists. And I think it's a pretty, pretty good thing, spreading uh, free education for all. 
So that's the goal here. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.